What's going on? We back with the Boxing Clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. One time for the one time we grinding. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. We'll miss another video from your boy. And, um, you know, what if Earl Spence um, uh, can't get a crack at Mikey Garcia? And Mikey Garcia goes with his advisor's uh, plan to go do something else and possibly fight Manny Pacquiao at 140 pounds. I don't know if you guys seen the video earlier I did today where Mayweather is trying to uh, talk to Pacquiao into fighting Mikey Garcia and letting him promote the whole fight, all right? Um, if that happens, where does Earl Spence go from here? You know, people have been saying Omar Figueroa. You get fight September 8th. You know, maybe you can turn around or just stop the fight and go ahead and fight Earl. But if he goes ahead and fights September 8th, I think Yugas could squeeze in another fight in this year as well. That'll be maybe a second or third fight of the year. Um, third fight of the year it might be if he can fit in Earl, all right? But um, that'll definitely leave Earl in a, diff a difficult predicament because everything is predicated on Earl fighting Mikey um, right now. And um, I'm pretty sure they probably have a backup plan or a contingency plan for for Earl, something that he was already working on. But um, a lot of people want to see the Omar Figueroa fight. I think that's a North South, uh, North uh, uh, Texas versus South Dallas type of fight. Um, but Omar Figueroa, I think he long gone right now, man. I know he had a, a DUI case in Indian Wells, California. Haven't heard nothing from him. You know, some people say he he has an alleged drinking problem, um, whatever that may be with him. So, um, you know, you know, what would Earl, you know, do? You know, and, uh, you know, it was mentioned that he might have to move up and fight a catch weight with, with somebody at 154 and have meet, meet him at a catch weight. He always got Yugas as an option, which is supposed to be his mandatory. Um, Vargas is with the zone. You know, Adrian Broner is not taking the fight. Danny and Sean won't be able to turn around quick enough. Crawford, we already know what the business is with Crawford uh, as well. So, um, you know, it's be a difficult, difficult uh, predicament for him, man. Uh, he might have to go ahead and fight Yugas if Mikey Garcia fall through. And his money would be a little bit funny with that fight because uh, Mikey, you know, that was supposed to be the fight for him is Mikey, you know. So, you know, he might have to go do the Star Frisco American Airlines Arena in Dallas when he fights Yugas. So, it will be another stay busy fight. And that's what we talked about on the live stream earlier if you missed it. He's going to have to just continue to do these stay busy fights. And But, like I said, every punch that's landed on you, every punch that you throw in the gym, and in the ring um, is is one punch closer to to your retirement, one punch to you closer to you being done. And um, it's sad that he got a waste um, he got a waste damaged on him by fighting just staying by fighting guys just to stay busy because other guys won't boss up and fight him. So it's a terrible situation. But from what I hear, Mikey Garcia is, is hell bent on fighting Earl, and uh, Mikey's a very very smart fighter. And a lot of people have been taking shots at Mikey. Even you know Freddie Roach, I seen. A title of an interview, I think, was with Fight Hub saying that, um, you know, about damn time he fighting a real fighter. Bob Aram said that, well, we know Freddie Rose don't like uh, Robert Garcia because he basically um, took over the best trainer in California and took a lot of his fighters over there as well. So he feels some type of way of been a rivalry there for, for quite some time. Uh, but, you know, then Bob Aram said, oh, Mikey never wanted to take chances when he was he was over at top rank. And um and part of that I found out I heard Black Fight Fan talk about it this morning on the live stream, I think it was, was that Mikey Garcia was locked into a flat rate no matter who he fought on top rank. So why would you take a risk if you're gonna get three hundred K to fight a bigger risk or a small risk or or lower risk? So, you know, a lot of stuff starting to come out and he's daring to be great now that he's uh just working with Al Hammond and promoting himself on a five by five basis. So um but like I said, you know, he wants this smoke with Earl. But if he he chooses to go to Pacquiao right and they able the Pacquiao route and they're able to give him that bag, and that bag is right, um, hey man, I'm not I mean I'm be mad that he didn't fight Earl, but it is what it is. That's a better fight, and um, you know I'd be mad that he talked all that junk and bagged up. But money is money and business is business, and he got to handle his business partner, my minister society voice man. So you know at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. Um, at least he it'll be more competitive fight between him and Pacquiao. But Earl, like Earl's basically gonna have to, you know, fight Yugis. That's the only fight I think he can fight right now. You know, stay busy fight. Unless Amir Khan wanna uh fight or Kill Brook uh a fight, catch away with Kill Brook or something like that. But I'm pretty sure Kill Brook don't want to bark up that tree. He really don't want that work. And we all know that. So, you know, Earl, if I'm Earl, I'm still working on contingency plans. But it's funny, I wanna say this, it's funny that Mayweather uh said that he wants to get Mikey Garcia in the Pacquiao fight the Pacquiao fight by but why doesn't Mayweather want to help uh, young black fighters? He, since he didn't fight none of them really in their prime, 
and he don't he didn't want to do a pass on the torch fight with Crawford Spence or whoever it may be, Sean Porter. Why not, you know, uh try to get them and try to middleman a Pacquiao fight for one of them, a middleman middleman uh fight for one of them of that nature. Or how about doing the Mayweather tournament? You know what I'm saying? Do a Mayweather open and you put you bought you spent eighteen million dollars on the watch. You feel what I'm saying? You can put that, you put that eighteen million up. And it has some sponsors to put ten or fifteen million up, put it together, and the winner get the grand pass. And you keep all, and then you just you pay the fighters on a five by five basis. You 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 promote all the fights if you co promote them, and you get your return back, back off of sponsorships and off of each fight by fight live gate, man. It'd be huge. But at the end of the day, that that's he don't want to help no black fighters because he don't want nobody to be better than him. But y'all know what the business is. It's TBC and more. I'm going to do three more videos. My mindset was to do two more videos after this one. I'm going to do three more. I'm going to squeeze in a boxing video right after this one. So y'all be on the lookout. Y'all know what the business is. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links into the description. All in the description. Podcast link into the description as well. Uh, go check us out, Ron and Cut. Going to get to recording some more uh, episodes. There's already nine Ron and Cut episodes. Triple rated R featuring the Cali Enigma and myself. Uh, go check that out. Also, S1210, College Sports Most Wanted. Um... Uh, college sports page man the links in the description college football and basketball we definitely gonna be on the high school tip a little bit as well too continue to subscribe share the videos one time for the one time we grind and shout out to the whole ldbc we gone